Wood Street Stormwater Lift Station Improvements. Uh, the Wood Street Stormwater Lift Station is located here in the heart of Griffith along the Katie Marsh Ditch. Um, it's off screen right now, but just to the east of this site is the uh, Army Corps Deep Tunnel and Raker that I believe you gentlemen are familiar with. Uh, area of the impact of this station is it uh, directly manages the storm water for approximately 475 acres. Self developed land within the town of Griffith, about 2,000 residential homes, 20 businesses, and plus or minus 14 miles of roadway that directly drains this pump station and gets pumped up and into the Katy Marsh Ditch. Um, I say directly in the first line as well because indirectly it handles another one to 200 acres um, conservatively as Katy Marsh level rises. Most of the town's storm sewer on the south half is um, gravity discharged through flat feeds and duck builds. When Katie Marsh is up, those systems close and it back feeds into this stormwater pump station. So on low flow, those acres aren't contributing, but on high flow weather events, the, there is an additional acreage of land that back feeds into this pump station. So the area is a bit bigger than this on heavy storm events. Uh, when we came up with the need for this project in 2022, there was a lift, value, lift station evaluation study done to determine the long term needs for this site. Uh, the things that the study found was uh, the need to maintain pumping capacity during power outages. Currently, the, system, the station has 350 horsepower pumps. One of them is a diesel, and two of them are electric. Uh, during power outages, the diesel will run, and there's a generator on site that will run one of the two electric pumps. Um, so there's a need to increase capacity during outages so that we can get the full pumping capacity of the station. Um, there was a, a preliminary design looked at to increase the just pumping capacity of the, of the station by lowering the discharge head of the pipes. Uh, we'd like to improve the efficiency of the station by adding some BFDs and just uh, extend the life of the station and alleviate maintenance concerns by automating some of the rakers for bar screens to take some of the human air out of it. Uh, is the recommendations that came out of the study. Uh, the original request that was submitted to the board back in September was for the engineering design fee of all the recommended improvements. Uh, the town has since changed and would like to revise the request if possible uh, to narrow it down to just the engineering design and construction of the replacement of the existing diesel pump with a electrical pump and to purchase and install a backup generator that will run the entire site. The reason for this change is maintenance with the diesel motor pump has increased over the years and they have stopped making parts for this pump. So it has become increasingly difficult to maintain. So anytime that maintenance repairs are needed on this pump, it goes down for a longer period of time during each repair, which puts the station um, kind of in a peculiar, peculiar situation because if we were to lose power, we'd now be down to one pump, which is not ideal in storm events, which is usually when we lose power. So the request is being changed if possible to replace the diesel pump with an electric pump and upgrade the generator so that the station can run at full capacity during power outages, which is an immediate need for the safety of the surrounding neighborhoods. That changes the uh, request here. The engineer's estimate for this work is uh, $1,375,000. We are revising our request from 80 to 20 to 60 40. We understand that we are making a bigger request from the commission, so we'd like to but uh, more skin in the game, if you will, which leads to a request of 825000 for this project. Thank you, Dean Um You currently have a, a two-pump configuration, so you, you really have three pumps. Yes, sir. Okay. It's just that one of them is a diesel. Yes. Okay. And, and all of them have the same horsepower capacity? Yes, they're all 150 horsepower. Okay. And uh, in the event of a, of a large demand, can you repeat what you said earlier? All three run? Or run? Yes, uh, large storm events, all three pumps will run at the same time and discharge. Excuse me, the concern is during power outages, the station as it operates today is limited to only running two of those pumps. And the concern is if the diesel motor pump is under repair or breaks during that outage, we're now down to one pump. So 
if we could replace it with an electric and get a generator that will run the entire station, then there is a, a, a redundancy there that allows for consistent operating extreme conditions. When you talk about the replacement of the pumps, are you going back with the same size, all three? Uh, are you going to upgrade it? Uh, we would only, we're only requesting the replacement of the diesel motor. The electric pumps, they're not an immediate need right now. We'd love to replace them in the future, but the immediate need is that diesel motor. And yes, it would be a, a one for 150 for 150. Okay. Is it going to be like one of uh, like a, I saw the Generac. It's going to be like, uh, is that what you're proposing? Like a natural gas uh, electric? Uh, I believe the natural gas ones for the service in the area, we could only feed up to a uh, 200 kilowatt generator, and which we would need something larger, so it may have to be diesel, but I, I don't know that for sure. Okay. 